need a whole lot of people around them until they doing their assignment. You got to love people, but you got to know how to be ghosts too. Y'all ain't heard nothing. You imagine, <laughs> I'm going to be good, Jesus, because I'm going to be good tonight. Thank you, Holy Spirit. No, I'm going to obey him, and I'm, so I'm going to be good. Part of the fruit of the Spirit is goodness. I'm going to be good. <laughs> yeah. I ain't going to get it, and I ain't going to go down that road, because I can be bad. Let's uh, read the scriptures. Yeah, let's stay good. We're doing a new wine stretch. You got to be good. <laughs> the Bible says, verse 26. Anybody got verse 26? Oh, uh, yeah. Y'all didn't, didn't close your Bibles on me. Ephesians 4 and 26. Be angry and sin not. Yeah. Anger is an emotion. Yeah. You can be angry and sin not. But then he said, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Yeah. Wrath means extreme anger. Yeah. So there are times you're going to have extreme anger too. Now check that out. A Christian, you're going to have anger, and you're going to have extreme anger. Now, when you have your, you know, some of y'all, oh, Lord, you got extreme anger. Well, when you have extreme anger, don't let the sun go down on it. And make sure you don't break up nothing that you got to pay for. <laughs> you don't threaten nobody. Don't, be a, don't assault nobody. <laughs> Make sure you don't hit nobody that's bigger than you, too. Be careful. Be careful. Let's go to, let's get to James 4 and 11. Come on quickly here. We have a Bible class. Yeah, don't, don't, hit, don't hit nobody. You know, don't get so mad you forget what size they are. <laughs> you know, you know how you get mad and you go, to, oops. You got to say, oops. <laughs> you look up and they're about two feet taller than you, and they've been working out. Then you got a problem. James 4 and 11. Oh, if you're going to walk the new wine strut, James 4 and 11, man, you got to do it. Y'all got it? It says, speak not evil one of another, brethren. He that speaketh evil of his brother and judge his brother and speaketh evil of the law and judges the law. But if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. And you know, that's one of them side steps. Come on, get quiet here. Say amen and go down better. Amen. It's real easy that when you're walking in the spirit to get off on that tangent. Yeah. Can I get a better amen? amen? Amen. Let's look at Romans 16, verse 17. Because when you making, when you strutting and you strolling, it's always a puddle, mud puddle, something you got to go around. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never put your wingtips on and the sidewalk was just perfectly like it's supposed to be. It's always something. Y'all know, put your red bottoms on, gum on, gum on. You don't just walk on it anyway, do you? Well, when you're doing the new wine strut, there's always going to be something in the way. Come on. And you got to learn how to walk around it. We're hearing on here. Come on. Amen. The timekeeper will keep waving his hand. Amen. Romans 16, verse 17. Y'all there? Amen. I know you ain't read this one today. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses, contrary to the doctrine which we have learned, and avoid them. For they uh, such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly. And by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. So we, when you're doing that, you want to be careful. And there's plenty of other scriptures. You want to be careful that you don't be one of those who walk contrary to the doctrine which we have learned. And you want to make sure you don't get off. Jesus says it is impossible to live this life without offenses coming. I don't know why we can't get over that. I've been married to that woman 26 years on the 11th. And you know what? I, I, I know, I know I offended her one time. 
I, I, 26 years, I think one time I did. Not once. 26 years. <laughs> and I love her. I didn't mean to. We've been in this church 20 years. Sometimes you're going to be offended. That's been my daughter for 40. I've been knowing my sister for 66. Four, well, four. Your birthday's Friday. We get offended. Offenses come. Hello? Y'all still with me? Yeah. Amen. So all I'm trying to tell you that as you are walking with Jesus to do the new wine strut, you got to use offenses as hurdles. Y'all yeah. too quiet. Y'all must be Episcopalian. Come on. You step over offenses, children. Y'all yeah. just don't want me to say that, do you? No, it's good. It's good. Offenses, offenses come. Roadblocks come sometimes. You don't cancel the trip. Amen. Bones get in, in the soup. You don't pull the soup out. Amen. And we need to understand to walk the spirit life, the enemy attacks us with offenses. Yeah. Yeah. But love, say love, love. covers all. Now, she'd have left me a long time ago, many times I've offended her. How y'all going to be married more than a, a year, man? Terrence told me him and his, his sweet betrothed have been married five years. He just grinning like he, he ain't never had a kiss before. All on the TV, I've been married five years. I'm like, man, okay. <laughs> every time, every time we get up and married to my beloved five year old, right, dude? You said that last week. <laughs> bless him, bless him. <laughs> me, me and my wife, I'm like, okay, all right, player. <laughs> Every chance we get right down the street. Yeah, me and my, I'm like, all right, brother. <laughs> he he loves he love his wife. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, and I'm praying for the day that he never offend her. Okay. Thank you. But love is what covers children also, I'm just trying to say now. Amen. Kids offend their parents. Amen. But you can't throw them away. Amen. Amen. All right, I'm about done here, Mr. Timekeeper. Um, he says, uh, verse 29, or oh, verse 28, let him that steal, stole, steal no more. But rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good that he may have to give to him that needeth. Let no corrupt, dishonest communication, unscrupulous communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to edify. Uh, we, we have to have a courteous conversation. Verse 30, grieve, don't bring the Holy Spirit into distress. Verse 31, let all bitterness which means lack of sweetness. Saints are supposed to talk sweet, even men. We're supposed to have sweet conversation. Nice. We ain't got to prove that we some gangsters. We ain't got to prove we some tough, tough yodels. He says, let uh, all bitterness and wrath and anger, host hostile talking and clamor, 
It's in there. It's in the Bible. It's right there. Clamor. I know you, you, you hadn't looked that up. Before. I mean loud, confused noise. It's okay to play a little bit and have a little fun. But clamor, just loud noise, just talking about stirring up strife, shouting. You know, we got to work on that. Amen. Evil speaking. Be put away from you with all malice. Malice is the intention or desire to do evil. I'm going to get even with you. Yeah, you keep on messing with me. Keep on. You got the wrong one here. How you, how you going to be walking the spiritual new wine strut? Yeah, yeah, you watch your back, sucker. Watch it. Yeah, I know I sing in the choir. I know I go to the church, but you know what? I ain't no fool. You keep on. How you going to be? How you going to be? Everything that's in on me. On everything, everything on me. Everything, you know. Like Jesus. That's what it means that the Holy Spirit don't grieve him because the Holy Spirit put his head down like your kids would if you was up at the school. You know, they'd be like, that ain't my mama. That's what the Holy Spirit be. No, I didn't save him. He says in verse 32, and be kind. The spirit walk, saints, God's children are kind. It means sympathetic. Some I ain't got no sympathy for them. They shut, never shut up. Oh, Lord, have mercy. We're supposed to be kind. I don't care. I just, I'm not going to tell them. Oh, my God. You got to be kidding. So many of God's people don't have kindness. Kindness is supposed to be a part of your, your heart. You need to read the Beatitudes. Blessed are the merciful. They shall obtain mercy. We're supposed to be kind. It says it right here. And be ye kind, sympathetic, willingness to do good, think good of one another. Even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. You can't walk in the spirit and not be kind. That's okay. Don't worry about it. That's what a kind person, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Not, huh. That's what little girls do. Roll their eyes, pop the neck, chew the gum. Pull the gum out, be like this here, and put it back in. He says, be kind, sympathetic. Then he says, be there for followers of God as dear children. Be like... Zoe, which means the life of God. She just came in and gave me a hug. We come in, we ain't got no hug. I know COVID's yeah. around, but we could come and bump. Amen. She just ran all up to me. Hi, I ain't seen you in two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> she ain't worried about, no. I got braces and you're going to judge me. Yeah. I got my hood on, nothing. I mean, you're just kind. When you're kind, yeah. just be kind. Yeah. Then he says uh, in Ephesians 5, 1 through 7, I'm going to go there real quick, my t and my time will definitely be, I'm going to finish there. He says, be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, Ephesians 5, 1 through 7, as dear children. You know, he said, except you come as little children. He don't mean like, uh, unlearned, ignorant, docile, dumb. He just mean tender, nice. Thank you, teachable. I don't care what you tell me. I know, I know. You know. Oh, man. Oh, wow. You can shut a child down in a minute. Wait a minute, little kid. Let me talk to you. Unless the streets got them. I don't care what you say, old dude. I don't care what you say, old dude. If you're going to walk in the spirit, yeah. if you want to keep the spirit, be you their followers of God as dear children. Give me a child's heart. Make me sensitive again. The Bible even says over in the book of Revelation, to use a little eye salve. Let me tell you something. It's... Okay, y'all going to take this wrong, but I'm going to say it anyway. The Bible says use a little eye salve for your eyes. That means you should become, we should become tenderhearted. There are things that will make you cry. And if you can't cry, you're out of touch with the Spirit somewhere. Yeah. 
somewhere, sometime in your spirit walk, something ought to move you to cry. And I ain't talking about somebody talked about your mama. Something in this world that touches Jesus ought to touch your heart. Amen. Everybody got filial love. Mm -hmm. I ain't talking about Eros love because you ain't getting none. Mm -hmm. There's three kinds of love. There's Eros, filial, and agape. And you crying because you ain't getting no loving, ain't moving God. You filial loving because somebody talked about your brother and you finna go fight, that ain't moving God. But agape love because something is touching God's heart. Don't have to be your kin. You can't say you walking with Jesus and you don't hurt for something that in the course of the day might be on the news. People suffering somewhere or in your prayer time, the Holy Spirit, don't put somebody in your heart you ain't got to be related to. Because Jesus loved the little children, red and yellow, black and white, everybody. And if you're walking with him sometime, he got to drop something in your heart because the Spirit is not partial. To your neighborhood, just the hood, just your color, just the people between your four square blocks and the folks with your last name. He just told us, don't be like other Gentiles. Because once you tap into the spirit, he, you don't know where you're going and where it came from. And so if you can't find tenderheartedness, Somewhere in your prayer time or your devotion time, you need to do the spirit walk. Amen. Get out yourself. Get out your flesh. Amen. Now it's getting quiet, but I'm done. I'm, 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 really, I'm really down at the last few verses here. Amen. He says, walk in the spirit. Walk in love, verse 2. What is that? We got to practice that. Walk in love. Walk in love. You can't walk in love if you don't know the love scriptures. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Christ also loved us. He loved us unconditional, giving himself for us as an offering, a sacrifice to God. Uh, listen, to, listen to this. To God, a sweet-smelling savor. I looked that up. A pleasant smell. When Jesus died for us, God smelled it. Ah. Oh, oh, my God, that smells so good. Now, you put your mind around that. Jesus is suffering and bleeding, and the Bible says that that was a sweet smell to God. Blood and guts. But God smelled it. Even though it was his only begotten son, God smelled it, and he says that it was a sweet smell and savor. You know why? He smelled sacrifice for other people. Whenever you forgive, God smells, oh, but when you don't forgive, God smells stench. And that's what it says. It says, but fornication, sexual intercourse between people not married to each other, and all uncleanness, or all dirty and filthy, or covetousness, great desire to possess material wealth, let it not be once named among you as become saints. Now, that's the standard, y'all. You know, that's the standard. We ain't suppo it ain't supposed to be named among us one time. So we got to go. If we're going to do the, the spiritual strut, that's what we got to do. We can't say, well, I'm, I had a wild season. And if we did, we can't have no more wild seasons. So if you ain't got the girl by now, you're going to have to let it go. If you ain't got some stuff, you're going to have to believe the scripture. Godliness with contentment is great gain. That's in the Bible, too. Okay, let me move on. All right, I only, so I'll, I'll linger. That's what it says right there. It says, if you want to do the spiritual strut, the new wine strut. But we act like God can't give us what we need eventually. He just wants to see, can you do the walk? Can you walk the walk? Can you, if you walk the walk, you keep walking on them gold, them silver squares. I got what you need, right? Down, oh God. All I need you to do is just stay on the squares, Stephen. Stay on the squares. Okay, Lord, stay on the silver. Okay, Lord, you know I'm going through. And then that next one will be right there. Okay. <coughs> okay, Lord. 
And then you stay on that one, and then the next one is right there. Okay, I don't see my way, Jesus. Okay, yeah. okay. Then pretty soon, okay. Yeah. Then okay. Okay. So, oh, look at here, look at here. Yeah, yeah. But if you try to get in there and you're going to walk, you're going to stay on it, and you're almost at the deadline, but then all of a sudden, flesh get in it. Because you like them like that. <laughs> Man or woman? <laughs> Look at somebody say, you better do the new wine strut. <laughs> Let's finish this up here. Woo. Verse 5. For this we know. Do we? That no whoremonger. That means a person who has dealing with prostitutes. Yeah. Especially a sexually promiscuous man. Promiscuous, I looked that up. Having many transient sexual relationships. Transient, I looked that up. Yeah. Lasting only a short time. Impermanent. Boy, I'm cutting it slice. I'm, I'm slicing it thin. Temple prostitutes. There were even male cult prostitutes in the land. They... They imitated all the detestable practices of the nations the Lord disposed, dispossessed before the Israelites. And it's, he banished in 1 Kings 14, 1 Kings 15, he banished the male shrine prostitutes. There were male prostitutes and female prostitutes. See, I ain't trying to, that's it, I'm going to stop right there. He said, verse 7, be ye not therefore partakers with them, for you were sometimes darkness, but now you light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. That's it. That's it. So if you want to do the spiritual new wine strut, God ain't interested in what church you go to. Amen. Amen. He's interested in filling us with the spirit. Amen. And it's a sacrifice. Amen. But we got to quit believing that God don't have what we need in the spirit realm if you just walk with him. Come on. For my brothers, he got a wife if you're looking for one. For my sisters, he got a husband if you're looking for one. And for those who ain't looking, God is not going to put you in a position where you be practicing. Amen. It's just simple. He knows what you need. And for those that got one, he said, don't seek to be loose from one. All right. Amen. Even if it's rough. Amen. He said, yeah, thou bound to a wife, seek not a wife. Thou bound to a husband, seek Amen. not a husband. It's just simple. We got to change our ways. Amen. Getting a new person in your bedroom, they still got to deal with your crazy self. That's what the scripture said. Because what needs to change is we need to drink the new wine. Amen. And when you drink the new wine, you can be like Jesus. You can put up with sinners. Amen. For what Amen. knoweth thou, O man? Maybe you can save your wife. Yes. What knoweth thou, O woman? Maybe you can save your husband. Amen. I'm going to stand on your feet. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Because here's what happens, children. Listen to me. When somebody throw you away, you know what you got to do? You got to prove that you worth something. Amen. That's the trick of the enemy. Are y'all listening? Yeah, somebody throw you away, man. You got to go out and make sure that you prove that you are worth something. So you can, for a moment, become promiscuous. That moment may last you some years. You know, nobody won't be thrown away. You don't want to. Then you got to meet people to prove that you're worth something. But once they use you, then you feel double bad. 
But if you do the new wine strut, <laughs> I don't need you. Amen. I'm drinking new wine. New wine. They're going to be attracted to you because they can't understand why you got someone showing you ain't got nobody in your bed. Come on. Yeah. Come on, that's good. They're supposed yeah. to be. Who wouldn't want moths come to light? Dark stuff that want to come to that light. And be like, golly, your personality is just so infectious. Yeah, smile. Yeah, I'm drinking new wine. But that don't mean that you're supposed to drink it from me. I'm just going to lead you to the fountain. Y'all hear me? You ain't going gonna to suck me dry. You don't, you, you don't clip your toenails. You don't wash, brush your teeth. You don't pick up behind you. I ain't going down that road. You're going to make me get in the flesh. See, but you don't know all that right now. You raise your voice when you get mad. You stay gone two or three days. Oh, you don't know all that yet. You spend all your money on stupid stuff. So you wasn't supposed to be drinking from me. Amen. I just supposed to be a light Amen. to show you that you can have the same joy, lady, that I got. God didn't send me to be your husband. Yes. Now I've done my job. And because I've been faithful there, God didn't send me to be your wife, man. Right. Oh, you can't have none of this. Because oh. <laughs> I've been faithful over a few and I keep walking the new wine strut. Yeah. God going to give me my Boaz or my Boazella. He going to say, you've been 